Hello and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Sai, playing on behalf of Master of None Gaming. Um, so we now have two planets. We are just in the process of colonizing our second. Um, and at the same time, we now have a fairly well-armed pirate organization uh, trying to kill us, which is not very fair, if I'm honest. Most importantly, above everything else, though, we met last time another race of aliens who, thank the gods, turned out to be friendly ones, which is nice because there have been a few games of Stellaris that have been cut desperately short by me being sandwiched between two absolute dickheads um, who have promptly wiped me out, which is very frustrating, especially since those tend to be the ones where you get a really good start. Um, still, let us dive on in without further ado, and we have some pirates to squash. We are going to dispatch our spaceships, our combat ships, straight away. We're going to lose this science station. It's going to happen. It's a real pain in the ass, but I'm just too late in getting there. Such is life. And they are running, those little pricks. Get after them. Uh, I don't care about these theater aliens. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's slow things down a second. So, we'll investigate the... Theater aliens. Our construction ship is going to immediately build a new one of these. And our science ship is under attack in a big way. She is never getting out of there. She just did, though. Oh, lucky devil. I was convinced she was going to die then. Who are these? Yeah. Killing all the things. Woo. Oh, I wonder if that's it. Oh, look, it is. The conglomerate of Uk Uskal Opishal. We've met another race. Just like that, look. Look at him. Unbelievable. He's got a head like a penis. Sort of. Where well, if you include his neck? Looks a bit like a weird dong, doesn't it? A, a very weird dong, to be fair, with with eyes and a mouth. Anyway, weird. Went weird. So, erudite explores. Are there a science director at like us? We like us. This is good. Um, what's he got to say? He's honoured to have been chosen by director Hask Zumon to represent the conglomerate of Uskal Opishal in all diplomatic dealings with your fascinating species. We strive to unlock the full potential of technology, a goal we hope you shall find equally worthwhile. We will! Weird blue dong ahead alien dude, that is what we're all about. We are delighted to meet you. In fact, we're going to go with cooperation will surely benefit us all. We want to be bros with you. I feel we've got a lot to offer one another. Crikey, what a time to be alive. Look at them, like, whacking that wormhole. Bang, 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 Woo! So, science ship. Research this. Find out what these pirates are building. I want you to go home, get repaired. Um, we have got... Reganus 2 is now colonized. So, we are going to build a farm on there. Yep, I know it will overwrite the minerals but for now I don't have a lot of choice setting up planets are a labour of love unfortunately um, our second colony ship we are going to go and colonise this because again we now have another race in reach and I really don't want them to get this planet or keep me away from it so we will put it uh, where will we put it? We'll put it here to get quick growth. I won't call it Bertios Prime. It's Bertios 3. I've already called it Bertios 3 because that's what my science ship called it. If my science ship calls it Bertios 3, it's Bertios 3. So, colony ship will go and do that. Our constructor ship can now build these. Which is very nice. We've got a new research. Engineering facility 1, very nice. So, Batharium Refining, this will let us use the strategic resource we found on our second planet. So, 
so we definitely want that one that will give us more money because Batharian stone makes you rich 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 and we like being rich 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 um, what I also need to do is yep yeah. let's build a few more ships bulk up our tiny little fleet because it is a tiny little fleet another research complete assist research very nice we will take um hmm i can take sensors fusion power deflectors let's go with deflectors we can have some in fact no i'm lying let's go with fusion power ah crap there we go so that will let us put better power systems in our ships. Now we haven't looked at making ships yet because I haven't actually had to do anything. Um, science ship needs something to do. So she should be able to survey that system. And I like her to survey that system. And if she can actually survey these three as well, that would be great. Oh, and this one. Which hopefully will be threat free. Hopefully. <clears throat> so we could upgrade this science lab, but it is a bio, it's a society research center. So I don't want to do that. If I do do that, I'll lose its bonus to society research. Um, so I will wait until I have a science lab on an engineering tile like this one. The borders are growing. This is wonderful. Um, we've now got nine ships in our space fleet. We have another colony. Um, this is going well. So let us build humans here, here, and there. So we'll build the farms ready for the people. And we will use as well to get this one up and running. Um, oh, in fact, it needs a governor. Let's get a governor in place. So we want building cost and construction time. Yes, please. And we will also do... Um, I won't do infrastructure projects because there's not enough people. But putting a planet governor will make the planet just operate better. We need to put one on here as well. So recruit. We've got plus science output. Later, we will really want loads of these where possible. Uh, leave that one um, but for now Construction complete. I don't really want any of them but I'll take him because he's younger so he'll level up and hopefully last longer it's not ageism it's practicality and I'm sticking to it that's my story so we will build a research station there and then we will build a mining station there we will build a science ship and we will upgrade our spaceship. We'll just stick around here because as soon as that science ship is completed, I want to put a scientist in it. Like that. So sign leader. Um, we'll take someone that we could use elsewhere if we need to. Emilio Ramirez, welcome on board, sir. And he is going to assist research on track art. System survey complete. Which will give us a very minor science boost. A very minor science boost now, but later will be better. Yeah. <coughs> Strong magnetic field around Bertios 3 has been affecting computers on the surface recently. Oddly, this effect is not merely random interference. So computers are actually working more efficiently than they should be. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if an outside force is lending an helping hand. Interesting. Regardless, Magnetic Miracle is giving us an extra 20% across all of our science, so we are not going to say no to that. We can now build our fancy power plant when it's ready, um, and now we will build our ion thruster upgrade, which will make our ships go quicker. Um, now, I'm going to keep it paused for a second. We are going to look at our ships, because we are building more. We go into Ship Designer, our Corvette are the only spaceships we have access to now and for the moment 
They are kitted out with laser weapons, very rudimentary power generators, a wormhole jump drive, a computer chip to help with combat programming, basic chemical thrusters, and a ship mounted radar. Over time, we will be able to upgrade and improve stuff. So the first thing you always do, just for now, is called a Defiance class. I'm quite happy with that. We will hit Auto Upgrade and we will hit Save. Now, doing that at the start on all of your ships will make your life very easy because every time you unlock new technologies, it will immediately put them into the design um, and then you can just tell them to go and upgrade of their own accord. Okay. Especially now we're going to be researching things to add to our ships. So this is what our galaxy looks like now. Fifteen years in and things are already looking a lot less empty. So let's go in here. Crikey, not that far in. So we will clear some more tiles. In fact, we'll clear all of these. Uh, we're on Bertios. It's a shame we can't actually make science buildings. Actually, sort of get extra people on here, but there's really not a lot we can do with this one at the moment. What can you do? Is there any other systems? No, there aren't. What I do need to do though is build wormhole jump stations in here, and I also need to build one. Oh dear, oh no. Also need to build one here. So someone's gone somewhere and ooh wow entire system full of alien bad guys in Asmore. Interesting. We've researched fusion reactors, very nice. And we will now get them to research blue lasers. Oh or I could do that. But that'll be there later. We'll go blue lasers. Purple technologies are rare. Um, it will come back at some point, but I really want blue lasers. We've told our construction ship to crack on. No, we've researched another one. Border range was 20%. Alien visitor centers. What's this? I've never had this before. Okay. Screw it. We'll go for it. I've never had that tech come up. Well, there we go, isn't that exciting? So our science ship needs something to do. It has actually been to every system it can safely. Civilian ships won't go to ones it, it, they can't go to. So we will have them, that's she's level four now. So 7% failure on this one, so she can, she can attempt that. I'm happy for her to have a go at that one. Got an unemployed pop on my home planet. There you go, now you've got a job. So what that was about was because some tiles don't have any resources, if you have a person on them without anything that gives this slot a purpose, um, then that person has no job. And eventually they will move, they will become unhappy. All oh, very frustrating, he says through a yawn. Uh, but yes, all, all seriously aside, um, the more unhappy pops you have, they will make factions, they will rise up against you, they will cause you aggro, they will make things generally uncomfortable and awkward. Um, moving on to the anomaly, we have found a ruined network of aerostat colonies dating back at least three millennia, which can be found in a low orbit of a gas giant. Their original function appears to have been gas mining, but they have since been abandoned and reoccupied by many different races and pirate groups. Colonies have been thoroughly stripped of anything even remotely worth, even remotely valuable. 
but the mere fact that they are still aloft after all this time makes them an interesting subject of engineering research. Fascinating, says the government. Now this will add engineering research to that planet. So, we want that. So we will tell our construction ship once he's built his wormhole station that we want him to build a research station. And we will now get our scientist to assist research until she is high enough level to get through these. Because I imagine a level 3 anomaly will still have a quite a high success rate. Yeah. Quite, quite a high fail rate even. So we'll go for uh, Regulus is not making any science anyway. Bertios, no. So assist research is actually useless right now. So our science ship can't really do very much, which is kind of annoying. But there you go. I see. And we've now got an extra three engineering research, which is all very nice. <clears throat> oh, another research, an ion thruster. Let's have a um, mining network too for the next one. Mm hmm. We've got a science research ship just running around our turf, which is fine. Um, so our science ship can now research more systems, which is nice because we've got more wormholes. So she can go further afield. Not that further afield. But she's now in their home system. It's already built up. 19 ships with a fleet power of 699. Wow. They're quite a bit stronger than we are, but unfortunately I don't have the money to support a huge fleet right now. So I'm a little bit, a little bit screwed. We'll build some Corvette assembly yards, which will help us build ships more quickly. I just need a bit more money. Thank you. Business centre, hooray. Right, let's go for... Uh, Biolab 2, because we've got Biolabs and we can definitely do more of that. So I want to we'll build a spaceport over our new planet. And then what have we got here? So we're starting to build some stuff. So we'll build a mining network here. We'll build a power plant there. On this one, we got room here. Yeah, I do. We'll build our visitor center. Hmm, it's not actually that good a building though. Let's pause it. I need to do some upgrades a second. So we're going to upgrade this to an engineering facility. We'll upgrade that. And we're going to upgrade that. And we're going to upgrade that. I don't know that I am going to build that after all that. Because there are other buildings that I could put on this tile later on that I would rather do. So that's what I'm going to do. Planetary shield generator, for example. Or a hyper entertainment forum. Yeah, that's a thing. Or even uh, an intergalactic banking federation or something like that if I remember rightly like a stock exchange type thing um, I can frack geothermally nice because nothing bad ever came out of fracking cough anyway um, I don't want to make space torpedoes I don't want to make nuclear missiles I would quite like to make afterburners so we'll do that we will just check our ship designer as well, just to make sure that our self-upgrade is working. 
So we've now got, as you can see, small fusion reactors. So if I go to my army, I've now got the option to upgrade them. It will cost me 45 minerals, and they will all get upgraded with nice shiny new power plants. So we'll do that. Didn't take very long at all. Oh lord. Investigate Kappa aliens. Okay. Fine, I will. Oh, I can investigate too. I've obviously forgotten one. Iota aliens, research. Kappa aliens, research. I hope that these Kappa aliens aren't all wearing poppers. Like, that would be... I'm trying to be nice in this game, but I don't know that I could... I don't know that I could deal with that. I'm not going to lie. An entire race born in a pair of poppers. I just don't know how I feel about it, <clears throat> if I'm being perfectly frank. Yeah, this is in my borders now. Build mining and... Ah, that's where the observation post can go. Oh. Crystalline entity observation. Yeah, why not? Research it. So, this is in our borders now. So we're going to definitely get the extra four. Oh, I've met... Crikey, I've met the Queptilium Star Assembly. Good God. He looks like a... Do I... Uh... I don't even know. Xenophobic isolationists. Joy. We've met Donald Trump. So. He hates other aliens. He's a pacifist. Alright, so we haven't met Donald Trump. My mistake. He's a spiritualist. Okay. So actually, they just want to be left alone. Well, I can deal with that. Let's not force cooperation on us. Let's just say, yeah, you're cool. We're cool. Where are they? They are... Ooh, they're all the way over here. That's fine. They can stay all the way over there. And they have closed their borders. Oh. Sirs. We... We could do the same if we wanted. In fact, we have. If I can't visit you, you shall not visit me. Oh, that's a lot of text. I'm not going to read it. Um, to summarise, we studied the crystalline entities, and they're obviously alive. Well, they're definitely alive, rather. They don't mate. That's awkward. Um, and they don't seem to be an age of any sort. Um... The shifts in hue between the individual entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge. Interesting. Which can be violently unleashed. Oh. Well, suffice to say, I don't want to fuck with them. But the knowledge will surely be a great boon to the sciences. That's the attitude. We'll do that. Prismatic lenses modifier to the Empire plus 10% science. Boom! What a time to be alive. Um, we have no money. And we are losing it fast. This is an issue. So, we need to desperately get... Oh no. This is the worst. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Um, I need more... I need more power plants. That's what I need. Come on, more power plants. Oh, I'm throwing gasoline on this fire. Um, 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 um. This is not helping. Uh, okay. Right, blue laser is done. Uh, it's kind of got to be this one now. Because I need the extra dollar dollar bills. And then we'll go for planetary unification. Then we'll have a look at this one. And we'll move you over there. And 
that's mostly stem the flow. Mostly. We'll put you down there. We'll move you over there. Not what I wanted to do at all, but we'll get out of debt first and we'll fix it later. Okay. So, we've gotten out of our immediate money problem for now. And I think that is as good a place as I need to stop there. So, again, three planets now. Starting to get some more access to space. Met another empire, and then another empire. These three, I think, I, I believe we could get along. I mean, we've even got the same logo. I mean, how bad can it be? And like, theirs is a squid, and squids are fine, so, you know. And there's these douchebags over here. They can just stay over there. They're, they're, they're over there's problem. Um, but I think we're getting on all right, for the most part. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying Stellaris. As always, if you like the video, like the video. <laughs> um, even better, subscribe. Uh, it would be great for us to get the required amount of subscribers to get our own URL. We are miles off it, but we have to get there somehow. So please do give us a subscribe um, and check out our other videos. Um, you can find us on Twitter at M-O-N Gaming. You can find us on Facebook or Master of None Gaming. Um, I've been Sai. I've been playing this for your viewing pleasure. And I've been playing this for Master of None. Um, any questions about the game? Put it in the comments below. Always happy to talk about this game. Uh, other than that, it's been a pleasure as always, and I will see you next time. Bye!